Hey there, I'm Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com, and today I'm going to give you a quick look at the Cross Townsend. This is Cross's flagship pen, easily their most popular and recognizable pen out of all the ones that they have. And I would say it's kind of the epitome of the professional's pen. Very uh, professional looking pen, it's even used by several of the U.S. presidents to sign bills into law. There are currently seven models available in different finishes of the Cross Townsend. There are two that have a steel nib, the Lustrous Chrome and the Metalist. And then there are five that have 18 karat gold nibs. There's the 10 karat gold, the 20th anniversary platinum plated, black lacquer with gold, black lacquer with rhodium, and this gorgeous quartz blue lacquer, my personal favorite. Holding in my hand, it's got a smooth grip with a slight taper towards the tip, and it has almost no step at all. So really anywhere you hold this pen, it feels comfortable on your fingers. It weighs about 35 grams, which is slightly more than a Pilot Vanishing Point or a Lamy Studio or maybe a Twisby 580 All, if you're familiar with any of those pens. The balance is nice whether it's posted or not. When it's posted, it's only 21 grams, so a lot of the weight is actually in the cap. But even though most of the weight there is in the cap, it uh, posts pretty low. So the balance feels good even when it's posted if you have big hands. If your hands are slightly smaller and you hold it closer to the nib, it might feel a little bit back weighted. Now because there are two different nibs on it, it's got a little bit different feel depending on which model you're getting. The ones with the stainless steel nibs, it's available on a fine and medium. And it actually writes quite smoothly. I'm pretty impressed overall with all of the cross nibs. But the one on the Townsend is a little bit different than you see on some of the other cross steel nibs like the Botanica, the Century 2, and the Classic Century. It's not quite as wet as those other ones. So I actually kind of like this a little bit better than those for that reason. And if you're using the 18 karat gold ones, um, that's available in a fine and medium as well. And it's very, very smooth nibs pretty springy as well. You're going to get some slight line variation if you write with a little bit of pressure. And the fine one's actually going to give you some decent shading because it writes a little bit dry um, if you are writing with a little bit of pressure and then it writes wetter with a slight bit of pressure. But the medium is incredibly wet. It almost, and it's almost stub-like too. I can't stress how unbelievably wet this medium nib is. The cap is a snap cap, and it's a push to post that actually snaps into place, so it's quite firm. And it's firm whether you have it posted or whether you have it capped. It does take a fair bit of pressure to cap it though. And then the clip is a pretty firm clip, but it will keep your pen securely on your pocket since probably this is a pen that you would have in a professional setting on a dress shirt or some kind of shirt with a pocket on it. The way that you fill the Townsend is either through a proprietary Cross cartridge or a converter. And Cross actually has two different converters, which can be a little bit confusing. There's a screw-in style that's used on other models of pens, but this green push-in style that you see here is made specifically for the Townsend. The end is the same as all the other ones, but it will fit better than the screw-in one, even though you could technically use both. And the price for these pens range anywhere between $140 and $450, depending on which model you're getting. So there's a look at the Cross Townsend. If you want to check out any more details and pictures and things like that, uh, go visit GouletPens.com. If you like this video and you want more like it, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, you want any clarification on anything, be sure to leave a comment on my blog or on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching, and right on.